In my last video, we talked about one of the absurd ways that you can save up for a down payment on a house. If you didn't catch that one, just finish this video and then hit up my channel and go check it out. It's really good. Hey, don't say so myself. Do say so myself. So when I was looking around for unique ways to make money and the unique ways to accumulate wealth, I ran across quite a few good ones. And I also found a ton of really bad ones. So for a little while here, I'm actually making this into kind of a series and I'm going to go through the shitty money advice theme. Finding all these different experts that just have no clue what they're talking about. I'm Scott Siri. I'm the founder of no, the No to Grow program. It's where you learn how you can make money outside of your day job. And then you can use that money to live life the way that you want to live it. So for the last several decades, there hasn't been a good CD out there. I'm not talking about compact discs. I am talking about certificates of deposit. CDs were, at one point, a, a fairly good money-saving tool, a good place to store your cash. But in the last few decades, there are so many other methods that have popped up that are just as reliable that the CD has largely fallen out of favor. So if you're not sure of how this works, uh, here's the 30 second or whatever this ends up being explanation of how a CD works. You'll buy one of these CDs for a lump sum of money. Uh, usually they're purchased in blocks of 500 or $1,000. That money is then locked into the CD for between one and 10 years, usually with one, three, five, seven and 10 kind of being the most common. I don't know how they chose those years. You then get a guaranteed interest rate on that money that gets paid to you in cash every, usually every year. The problem is that when I checked out, I checked out while planning out this video for you and the most interest rate that you could really actually get with a CD is somewhere between one and one and a quarter percent interest. Considering that inflation averages over 3%, and this year it's actually quite a bit higher than that, you're going to end up losing buying power for every year that your money is locked away in that CD. And if you try to access the money early, you end up paying a penalty. So, the there are still a bunch of financial experts out there saying that this is a great place to store cash. But if I look at my money market account with Capital One, I earn about a third of a percent of interest. It's very similar to a lot of the short-term CDs, but I can withdraw that money at any given moment without any penalties. And I believe if I actually bumped up how much was in there, I could earn closer to about 1%. I think it's a $5,000 balance or more, but at the moment I have better places to invest in relatively low risk investments than to keep more than a couple thousand dollars in this emergency fund. So if you ever see or ever hear a financial expert that is telling you you should store your money in a CD, it's most likely that they are getting some sort of kickback from pushing that particular product. They're earning a commission or they have a deal with the bank or whoever they're, whoever, whatever CD they're pushing. You're not going to grow financially if you use this outdated and limiting tool. So there is one little caveat here. CD rates are not stagnant, they fluctuate all the time. 
And back in the 1980s, there were actually CDs providing annual returns into the double digits. But they were sold during a time of hyperinflation and even things like home mortgages were running into the double digit figures. So their interest rates and on mortgages were, were in the double digits. So these CDs were offering a great rate of return and they were great places to store money that you didn't need access to. Because after a few years of this hyperinflation, everything kind of got brought back in and reined in and under control. And the interest rates on mortgages came back down but because you were locked into that CD, they kept those guaranteed high rates of returns. And so if, say, you had bought a 20-year CD, you'd be earning double-digit returns on your money that entire time. If we see that, by all means, put money you don't need to touch for 10 or 20 years into a long-term double-digit earning CD. But for most of us, a simple money market is going to be the better option. Just, you know, keep a small amount in the money market and then pump the rest into higher yielding investments. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know I'm partial to real estate, but there are a lot of others out there that can help you earn a lot of money based on the money you already have. There is the adage out there that says it takes money to make money. And that's partially correct. That's partially true. Money invested properly will end up compounding and getting more money is easier than going from nothing to something. But you don't have to have a bunch of cash in order to make money. What you do need is a skill that you can monetize. I show you how to monetize that skill that you already have in the Know to Grow program. Just head over to www.knowtogrow.com and sign up. From there, you'll be on your way to making money, <laughs> making a lot of money if you want to, doing something that you already love to do. And you know what I love? I love comments, even those angry ones, and I love the thumbs ups, and I love subscribers. So can you do me a solid and give this video a like, comment on it, and sub for me, please?